Okay, right here is a 2002 Caterpillar 5110B. The 5110 was first announced by Caterpillar in late 1995 to fill the gap in between the smaller 5080 model and the larger 5130 model. Over the next few years, seven backhoe and one front shovel prototype models were built and tested in the field. Then, at the October 2000 Mine Expo show held in Las Vegas, Nevada, Caterpillar officially introduced the 5110B. Now, let's go and take a closer look at this machine. Available from Caterpillar only in backhoe configuration, the 5110B featured a standard 24-foot 9-inch boom and an 11-foot 2-inch stick. And an optional 13-foot 5-inch stick was also available for this machine, depending on what the customer preferred. The 5110B was designed to swing a rock bucket ranging from 8.1 to 11.2 cubic yards and an optional 13.6 cubic yard bucket was also offered for this machine for coal loading purposes. Twenty eight inch, thirty six inch, or thirty nine inch crawler shoes were offered for the fifty one ten B, depending on the type of ground conditions that the machine would be working on. This particular fifty one ten B is equipped with the twenty eight inch crawler shoes. And this excavator has two travel speeds, 1.6 miles per hour at low travel speed and 2.1 miles per hour at high travel speed. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 5110B, this machine measures 15 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 17 feet 9 inches wide. Let's go up top. Through here is the pump room. Okay, the 5110B utilizes four variable displacement piston pumps, which consist of three main pumps developing a total combined output of 353 GPM to power the front attachment and travel functions, one dedicated swing pump developing 123 GPM to power the swing circuit, and a single gear type hydraulic pump developing 15.6 GPM to power the pilot control circuit. The pumps on this machine feature an electronic underspeed control system, which destrokes the pumps during hydraulic system overload to prevent excessive engine lugging, thus allowing for efficient engine operation and lower fuel consumption.
Through this door is the engine room. Let's go inside and check it out. Here you can see the big Caterpillar diesel engine that powers the 5110B, which is a model 3412E HEUI. This is a four-stroke, twin-turbocharged and air-to-air -air after-cooled V12 diesel engine that produces 696 horsepower at 1800 RPM for this machine, which is a 16% increase in power over the prototypes. The HEUI fuel system utilizes hydraulically actuated electronically controlled unit injectors which monitor operator and sensor inputs to optimize engine performance, emissions, and fuel efficiency. From here you can get a good overview of the top deck on a 5110B. Mounted on the right side of this machine is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which holds 235 gallons of hydraulic oil. And mounted on the left side, directly behind the operator's cab, is a 450 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right there and mounted directly ahead of the hydraulic oil reservoir tank is the hydraulic oil cooling unit which you can see right up there the 5110B is equipped with Caterpillar's proportional priority pressure compensating hydraulic system which will divide the oil flow when flow is required for more than one function allowing the front attachment to operate at a constant speed regardless of engine speed and load this results in smooth operation and if you look in between where the boom pins to the superstructure, you can see one of the two variable displacement piston swing motors, which power the open center load sensing swing circuit system. And here you can see all of the hydraulic lines, which run out to power the front attachment. And if you look on top of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust stacks and the two air intakes for the engine. And on the back top of the counterweight, all of the red canisters that you see are for the fire suppression system. And if you look inside of this compartment, you can get another good view of the engine, the filters, and you can see one of the air cleaners. The 5110B is equipped with a raised operator's cab to boost the operator up higher so he could see over the top of a truck when he'd be loading. And you can see the wide access walkways located around the sides of this machine to provide safe access for the operator or mechanics when the machine is under service. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 5110B. Let's hop in and take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay. 
The two hand levers that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat connect to the two foot pedals that you see on the floor, and this is how you travel this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track, just like on a smaller machine. The two joysticks that you see off to the left and right side of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the backhoe attachment out in front. The 5110B is equipped with an electronic monitoring system. Here you can see all of the gauges and warning lights to monitor this entire machine when it's in operation. The noise level inside the cab is rated at 71 decibels. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 5110B. Each crawler on this machine is driven by an independent vent access piston travel motor, which are located behind these metal guards that you see on each crawler frame. And this is to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the excavator is in operation. of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, CAP. And the overall operating weight of a 5110B is 137 and a half tons. Although a front shovel version of this machine was announced for availability starting in early 2003, market conditions at the time prevented that machine from becoming a reality. And in late 2005, the 5110B, along with the rest of Caterpillar's 5000 series line of excavators, were discontinued. However, the story of the 5110B does not end there. This machine's well-engineered and robust design would later form the blueprint for the launch of Caterpillar's new 6015B model a decade later in late 2015. But there she is, a 2002 Caterpillar 5110B.